So let's take a look at this web page and this header here. Did you know that this header was done entirely in PowerPoint? I'll show you how. So you're going to bring up PowerPoint on your computer and here is the finished one in PowerPoint. Use the snipping tool to snip it out at the end. So how did this all work? Let's go to New and just pick out the design. This was the design that was used except for the colors were changed. So you can hold this over and look for colors that match what you want. We'll do something a little bit different this time um, just so you can see the new and the old. Okay, these were deleted. You can either click on them and hit the backspace key or underneath the home tab under layout go to blank. Okay, then we're going to insert whatever logos we want and that was under pictures and we'll find oops, that wasn't the right logo. Let's go ahead and insert picture find the logo. This is the logo. And then once we have the logo Look at all these different things that you can do underneath color. So some of these were changed to red or whatever color. Handles dragged down. And we can hold the control key and just make multiple copies of this. Or control C, control V, or however you want to copy and paste. I just click on the item, hold the control key and drag. Let's say on this one, um, let's go yellow on that one. On this one, I'm going to mess around up here with some of these. Okay, you can put borders on. You can put a shadow on. And you can also go up here to the picture effects. You can add bevels. You can do all kinds of things here. 3D rotations. And make all kinds of things. I can also right click this and go to format picture. You'll see that there are some presets here. And there's brightness and contrast. That I can change as well. And then I'm going to go to Insert, Word Art, pick the Word Art that I like. I maybe do this one. Whatever message you like. The artwork, you can click on the outside and go to Format as well. And underneath these effects, you can add add a shadow on, you can change the outline, you can add bevels, you could add a reflection, do all kinds of things with the text. And then it's also just a matter of sending some of these to the back, putting them forward, however you would like this to be. Rotate some of them. Put them over the top. And you can even cut some something out. I hold my control key and drag, drag it so I have a copy. I'm going to make this one bigger and I'm going to click on remove the background. When I do so, it's going to show in pink everything that would remove. Well, I don't want the tail removed, so I'm going to come out a little bit. Oops. Control Z 
didn't pick up as much as I thought it would. And then after I kind of get it what I want, I'm going to use the mark areas to remove and mark areas to delete. So I'm going to uh, mark areas to keep. So I've got to click and drag a little bit here. Uh, mark areas to keep. I want to keep the legs in here. I got a little bit too much mark areas to remove. Okay. Mark some more of these areas to remove on the horse. If it goes too much, I'll just I'm just clicking a little tiny bit and taking off a little bit at a time. Because otherwise it can be like that. It looks like I'm gonna have to keep that little piece there. Let's see if I can um, mark areas to remove right in between the legs. Let's see if it'll do that. No, it's not going to. And I can zoom way in here too and see if I can get it a little bit better without getting too much and mark areas to remove there we go okay that looks pretty good when I'm done I click keep changes and now I have um, a cut out little one so then it's just a matter of playing around with what my design is going to look like. If I don't like my word art, I can always go back in here and format this differently as well. I can choose a better outline for it. Change the fill if I want. Under format shape, make it a little bit more transparent. Clothes. I could change the color. I could do whatever I wanted until I had a really nice graphic working for me. Once I'm done, I'm going to use that snipping tool like I have before. So I'm going to go down to my search and type in snip. And I'm going to click and drag. Now I made a mistake because you're going to see that I've got the handle showing. So I'm going to close um, out of the snipping tool, click outside to make sure nothing it has been selected, and go back to my snipping tool, click on new, and now click and drag and save and I have a fancy nice graphic for a header for a poster or whatever will work best for me